In today's video, an American will be tasting South African snacks. Let's get into it. What is up, beautiful people? Now, people always stop me in the street and they say to me, Hey, what? <laughs> sorry. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> what is up, beautiful people? Now, people always stop me in the street and they say to me, Hey, aren't you? And I say, yes, it's me, Tools. Thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit the thumbs up button. It really does help the channel. And feel free to leave a comment while you're at it. Yeah, welcome to the video. So this is my brother-in-law, Marcus. Hello. Welcome to the channel. Marcus, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Fantastic. Yeah. Are you excited to taste some South African snacks. Very curious, very excited. Uh, let's get into it. Do you, have you tasted any South African snacks that you love, No, Because obviously you've been here a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Are there any snacks that you love, enjoy? Yeah, of course. I mean, I gotta give a big shout out to Bill Tong. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, 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 a better version of um, beef jerky in America. So, um, but yeah, all sorts of stuff. Your mango slices, uh, if you want to be a little healthier. I mean, we have that in the US, but the fruit here is- The dried fruit? Super or the, the fresh? Well, the real deal, but I'm talking about the dried fruit here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and of course you have the chocolate speckled eggs. Let's not forget. Yes. You know, my, your lovely sister got me deep into those. <laughs> um, and uh, prawn chips. I don't know what you brought here, but yes. that- gets in my belly about every other night. Okay, amazing. Okay, so let's get into it. So these are traditionally amazing snacks. I grew up with these snacks, mm -hmm. for, for, you know, from the get-go. Um, so there are a couple of snacks. If I've missed out any snacks, please comment down below. And yeah, we'll do maybe a part two where Marcus tastes and uh, drinks some suggestions that you have. So first things first, um, I think I'm gonna start out with this one. Knickknacks. Okay. I cool. think I nailed it, right? Yes, okay. that's correct. Um, so it says original cheese flavored maize snack. All right, you wanna show, show the audience what we have? We got some knickknacks. It's got, uh, oh, I love the Ghetto Fabulous mm -hmm. um, uh, branding. And uh, what would this taste like? Uh, yeah, I think it's more or less a Cheetos. Okay. A Cheetos situation going on here. Um, but uh, yeah, should I just get into it? Let's get into it. And then Marcus is going to rate them one out of, uh, uh, out of 10. Yeah. One out of 10. No, no, no. <laughs> one out of 10. <laughs> Marcus is going to rate them out of 10. Rate them out of 10. Okay, yeah. let's see. Coming in with a fresh pellet. <laughs> okay, okay. It is similar mm. to a Cheeto, mm -hmm. but it seems it has a little bit more of a baked flavor to it. Um, yeah, I've never had Cheetos, so mm. yeah, it's a similar um, cheese uh, snack. Um, but yeah, the, it, it's a little different. It's hard to describe, but. I like it. I think it's pretty good. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of them, mm -hmm. but I can see where you can get the Cheeto fingers. I mean, I could definitely be driving on a road trip with a bag of these in my lap, mm. um, getting the steering wheel messy with the the, the <laughs> cheese flavored <laughs> runoff. Um, I'd give it a. I'll give it an eight out of ten. Okay. Next up. Ooh, the Simbas. Okay. <laughs> so. Obviously, you know where mm -hmm. the name comes from. Mm -hmm. um, what do you expect this to taste like? Okay, well, we have the roars with roars with smoked beef flavor. Um, I want to say it's gonna taste, um, you know, like a barbecue or briskety beef chip, which they're going for. But from the packaging, it feels like I'm gonna they poured some chocolate milk on some <laughs> potato chips, or as you call it, crisps. <laughs> but I'm coming in with an open mind. Okay. Okay. We just cleanse the palate. Um, let's see. Oh, I got a, a big one. Mm. 
roar. These are very, very, very popular. That isn't that isn't what I thought it would taste like. What do you I think it's really good, actually. Okay. I think it's really good. Uh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. It's like um, roast beef. This was dipped in some roast beef flavoring. Um, when you said like that, yes. Yeah. It's a little drier of a chip than I thought it would be, but because, um, yeah, in my head I just equated to ruffles. Yeah. With, um, but it's good. I like it. Do you like more. Um, what do they call this? Ridges? Like ridges opposed to like a flat no. crisp. I'm glad you brought that up, Jules, because I would say that a flat chip is great <laughs> for normal eating, but ridges give you the power of dipping. Mmm. Yep. Unfortunately, we don't have dip here. We don't have dip, but we can imagine what it would be like. Right? Yeah, I agree. I mean, the classic flavor for this mm -hmm. is tomato, but I couldn't find it in the store. But the classic is tomato. Mm. And you know that our tomato sauce in this country is superior. Superior. Especially mm. that all gold. All gold. You've had all gold before. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll rate it a. I'll. I'll give it another eight. I'll give it another mm. eight out of ten. Okay. okay. So let's cleanse the palate with this drink. We have Sparletta Cream Soda. And you haven't had this before, right? I have not had this before okay. at all. Um, I have had cream soda, but um, yeah, it looks like Christmas in a glass. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, or in a bottle, Christmas in a bottle. Um, the, with the green coloration, um, I'm an open book. Um, I noticed you brought a glass, which is very South African of you in the US. We would just give you the bottle. Out of the bottle. the bottle. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so generally, what a lot of people have this when they have a hangover. Mm. Um, and okay. they, they um, drink this along the next day. Okay. And it helps with the hang hangover. Or bubble us? Uh, bubble us, <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> In the Afrikaans, call it a groen ambulance. I don't know how to say that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Wow. Sweet. Wow. Okay. Um, I haven't had this in years. That, that's um, kind of like how I expected it to taste. Is sweeter it? Sweeter than I thought. With a little bit of cream soda. It looks like, yeah, Ecto Cooler. What's Ecto Cooler? Ecto Cooler is like a kid's drink that's like, you know, from Ghostbusters. Oh, okay. It's like green. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like a green <laughs> kid's drink you grow big. So, um, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not, it's, it, I'm not too much of a sweet guy, so I'm yeah. gonna rate it about, and out of respect to Dr. Brown's cream soda, um, I think I, I can only rate it a five out of 10. Do you feel like this would help you hang out there? Mm, I don't know if it would, I don't think so, but uh, in fact, yeah, I, I think it may be, I, I might change it to a 4 out of 10, mm -hmm. I think I'm being polite mm -hmm. on behalf of South Africans, but <laughs> I'm terrified of the comments, but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's not quite my thing. Mm. So we have Willard's Big Corn Bites, here's your tomato flavored, <laughs> tomato flavored, um, Willard's Big Corn Bites Tomato Flavored Maize Chips. Mm -hmm. uh, I think... I, I don't know what this means. Oh, I get it. Big flavor. Like big, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. yeah. With double E. Uh, oh, that's kind of clever. Um, okay, I see you have some... Uh, it's got some Latino vibes here <laughs> going yeah. on over in South Africa. <laughs> Appropriating. Big, big, big good culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> big, very big. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like an accent thing. I don't know what to say about that. We don't share a border here in South Africa with Mexico, but no. let's, see, let's see how, if they nailed it. Okay, what do I think this is gonna taste like? Um, 
Yeah, I, I keep trying to want to equate it to American snacks, but I won't go there. I think it's going to be like a heavier chip. Um, yeah, tomato flavoring, heavier chip. When um, you say heavier, do you mean more thicker? Okay. Um, like denser, probably made with oil. I mean, okay. you know, I'm no food expert. Yeah. But um, yeah, let's give it a whirl. Okay, I was wrong, it was thinner. I thought you were gonna say um, it was taste like a Dorito. No, I don't know. It didn't give me Dorito vibes because I mm. know that your you guys your tomato flavor on chips is actually more um, of a direct translation of what a tomato should taste like versus in the U.S. Mm -hmm. It's we don't have that much of that. It's more of a nacho cheesy vibe. But oh, anyway, okay. um, I should really like. These. I actually really like these. I don't know about the big flavor, but. But I think it's really good. Yeah. Um. You could dip. You could probably even dip these in some salsa. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. And sour cream. I, I could see these really going well with the beer, mm. um, which I know isn't your thing, but <laughs> yeah, with like a hot day, mm -hmm. bowl of these chips and some, you know, a couple, uh, couple of Coronas. Yeah. Yeah, I could see it being a, a, a vibe. Yeah. I see what you said, this would go, even though I'm not a beer drinker, I told you that the gay man's beer is rosé. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, maybe I'll get you into some beer with this. <laughs> okay. But I like beer that's like water, so yeah. Got it. It's a different vibe altogether. Okay, so, okay. rating out of 10. Um, I'll give it a 9 out of 10, I actually really like these. That's a big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a big yeah. number. It's a big number. Big, big rating. Number. So I would give him a 10 out of 10, except for a couple of issues I have with the branding. Maybe watch the <laughs> Latino stereotypes um, and uh, and corn with a K. Yeah. Kind of a pet peeve of mine. So, yeah. Um, but good, good chip. Yeah. Great chip. Agreed. Great chip. Agreed. Now we're moving on to some sweet delights. I'm going to start off with this one. Okay. And I think this will be something that you are kind of familiar with. Okay. Uh, when you do taste this. Um, but yeah, introduce okay. it to our audience. We have original and best. Eat, eat some more. <laughs> eat some more. <laughs> As I said that, as I said that, I, I just got it. That's kind of brilliant. I think this is gonna be a more of a, yeah, a drier um, shortbread biscuit. Like it says, drier uh, cookie. So without further ado, um, yeah, I think this is more of a bland, but not in a bad way, um, you know, cookie or snack. So let's see if I get this open. Would you equate it to anything in America that you know? That that you would think that it tastes like? I can't think of a brand name, but okay. you know, we do have shortbread biscuits there. Um, okay. I more think of like when it's like like cooked for you in kindergarten class or something. Like, you know, like you How you make it for like cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Eat, I mean, he's so more. And it's, you, just, it's just amazing, though. Yeah. And I know that you guys call them cookies. We call them biscuits. Yeah. But and biscuits <laughs> in your country is completely something different. Yes, it is. It's a biscuit. For those who don't know, is um, bread. Yeah, you eat it with breakfast with like sausage and egg, eggs. It's like a bread. How would you describe it? It's more like a side of bread. A, a scone, like yeah, almost. Scone. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, that's what I would A do. more moist scone. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. I'm pretty good. That slaps. I think it's as to expected. Mm. Yeah. I think it's a lot more drier than original shortbread yeah. um, cookie that you would know and biscuits that I would know. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually really. It's good. I could picture it with some coffee in the morning. Mm. If you're, uh, you know, younger, dip it in some milk. 
Mm. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm gonna rate it a seven out of ten. It's good. Um, not much more to say except for I love the name. Eat some more. <laughs> As you said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My sister is not a fan of these, okay. and I'm excited to hear your reaction. Oh, okay. So these, this is the original and best red label lemon cream biscuits. Original and best. Um, okay, so yeah, it's gonna be like a lemon cream cookie. I think I'm gonna like this because I differ from your sister in, in snacks a okay. little bit, um, where I'm more of a glutton for, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, like, um, richer, uh, mm. creamier cookies. Um, Do you have a sweet tooth? I got a sweet tooth. I used to not have a sweet tooth, and now I totally have one. Your sister and I kind of switched places, because she's getting rid of her she, sweet tooth, I yes, think. Yes, she used to have a sweet and tooth. And now yeah. I like to finish the night with um, definitely, yeah, cookies or uh, Something. Yeah, so chocolate. Chocolate. Cho usually chocolate. Yeah. Opposed to, uh, like, a sweet. I'm not a candy guy, I'm sure we'll get into that, but um, yeah, definitely like a Same. more of a richer, savory type of dessert. Okay. So, yeah, chocolate. If I have a chocolate bar, I'm happy. Okay. Okay, it's a little more of a, of a brown uh, tan coloration, so it means it's baked a little bit longer, so that was a surprise. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I do like this. Me too. And it's a little bit more crispier than I thought. I thought it would, the cookie wouldn't snap as much, but mm. I actually am a big fan of these. Mmm. I'll give it a nine. I'll give nine. it a nine. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. We have, oh, 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 <laughs> Oros original <laughs> orange drink, orange squash. Um, 6% orange juice after after dilution. Okay, I don't know what that means, but um, maybe a little bit of real fruit. So yeah, this looks like orange, just orange drink in the US. Mm -hmm. um, and th is this carbonated? No. Okay. So basically, one part of this plus five parts of water makes the orange juice. So if you were to taste this alone, mm -hmm. it's very, very sweet. Okay. Um, but what you do is you dilute it. Oh, it's more it. of a concentrate. It's like a concentrate. concentrate. Okay. Correct. I would have just drinking this out of the bottle if I bought it at a gas station. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Would, would be great with some ice. Ice. You could make it even a seltzer. A spritz sparkling water. Yeah, sparkling yeah. Water. Yeah. Absolutely. A spritzer. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, it's a little sweet for my taste, but that's just me, you know. Um I should have put in more water. And obviously you can put in more water yeah, to taste to to taste. Yeah. But I could see it being uh, mild and refreshing if you add some I would sparkling water on a hot day, mm. some ice could yes. be good. And also like I grew up with this, I mean this it's just in the fridge, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. It, you're not South African if you don't have or us in your fridge. Yeah. No, I totally get the vibe. Um, not quite my thing, I'll give it a 5 out of 10, but I, I, I think, yeah, you could just, if you want something more than water and it's in the fridge, yes. you just pour a little bit in there and, uh, you know, switch it up. Oh, uh, it's oh, 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 Ross. You're <laughs> <laughs> very beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we have flake. I assume it's gonna be, oh, it's Cadbury Flake. I assume it's gonna be light and crispy. Um, milk chocolate, I can't tell if there's anything else in it, but let's give it a go. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just flaky milk chocolate, okay. Mm, oh no, I don't <laughs> think this is my thing. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> No, it's not, it's not like, it's just, it, you know, to, it, to me, without insulting Cadbury too much, it tastes like cheap, I mean, I, I'm a dark chocolate, Lind, or, or beyond, mm -hmm. Lind or beyond type of guy, so. I was saying you're like a chocolate connoisseur. 
I wouldn't go that so so far as to say that, but it's kind of like I'd equate to like a Hershey's like cheap chocolate kind of. But I'm not against. Cadbury. Let me just give the disclaimer. I'm not against gas station bodega, you know, chocolate mm -hmm. bars. Mm -hmm. Like there's a purpose for them, but I'm not the biggest fan of that. I'll give it a two out of ten. Okay. There needs to be something in it for me, like yeah. a a nut or nougat or something. Or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What we have here is a Cadbury Dairy Milk Top Deck. We're top decking it here. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So this looks like a milk chocolatey thing, or not milk? Like a okay. So it's like a white chocolate, maybe. I don't know if you have that a lot here. That's something I'd loved as a kid. Did you like white chocolate as a kid? I did. Not so much now. Um, Maybe in like a, if it's mixed in with a cookie or something, but um, oh yes, okay. yeah. Okay, I'm in, I'm intrigued. Just without opening it, I'm going blind here. It seems like you can rip them off into little sections. My assumption is right. Well done. Gonna break off a piece. You break off a piece. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, better than the flake. I could see me really, yeah, it's like got this white chocolate vibe mm -hmm. mixed in. A little too sugary for my mm. adult palate, but I could see me loving this as a kid. Absolutely. I'm gonna give it a, a, a three out of 10, but I got love for this bar in a different way where I could see me as a kid would, you know, yeah. being delicious actually. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like this. I think so too. The crunchy, Cadbury oh, crunchy. What a great segue. <laughs> um, which is why I think I'm really gonna like this. So yeah, it seems like, okay. So we got milk chocolate with the golden honeycomb center. It goes, crrr, it goes in your mouth. I think they should have wrote crunch, crunch. They I'm, just wrote crrr in your mouth, which I, okay. It's also very interesting now to read all of this stuff because obviously I know some of the commercials and the ad yeah. words for them. Um, and now I'm noticing all of the, some of the bylines. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm noticing it too because it's like foreign candy, which I'm reading everything where you probably had, right. you read it when you were <laughs> young and forgot about it in two seconds. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm gonna like this because it's got- Do you some, like honeycomb? I do like honeycomb. Um, and I like chocolate wrapped in a cookie-ish type of thing, so. Got it, okay. Whoa. There's toffee in it, right? Is that toffee? I mean, it's kind of, yeah, I think there's kind of like- Or honey? It's like the honeycomb, yeah. I like it. It's diff definitely different than I thought what I was gonna bite into. I thought it was gonna be honeycomb wafery. Mmm, okay but it's got like a snap to it. Um, yeah, I, I, I see. It's I still can... not as um, substantial as I like in a candy bar. Mm -hmm. Again, the gold standard for me for a gas station or bodega uh, candy bar is a Snickers, of course. Oh, yes. Of course. I love a Snickers. So, I, yeah, I, I thought, yeah, let, I still give it a five out of 10. I think it's got a unique flavor to it. Oh, that, that's actually a higher than the others that yeah. you, that you yeah. write to them. Okay. Now. <laughs> oh, okay. The Cadbury, we have a theme here. The Cadbury, we went crunch, crunch last time, the Cadbury Chomp. So, I oh, this is one I actually think I'm really gonna like. Wa wafer biscuit and caramel covered in cocoa flavored coating. Okay, I think this is gonna be a winner. Whoa. I like that. Do you? Yeah. It's got a weird texture I to thought it. I thought you'd like it. It's crunchy but soft, but I'll have another bite. Even though we were saying that we don't like toffee, mm -hmm. this has toffee in, right? I don't or, really, it's so subtle though. Yeah. But I like the, the texture of it, it's very yeah. interesting. Chomp. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna give it a seven out of ten. Oh uh, yeah, because you, I think Earth. you really like it. I just, yeah, interesting texture to it again. Yeah. So, 
Life is Juicy Maynard's original wine gum. Oh, wine gums. Okay, I've heard of these. I have heard of have these. Have you? Yeah, yeah. From your sister. But I haven't tried it yet. This isn't my thing. <laughs> so no disrespect for the wine gum aficionados <laughs> and fans of the of South Africa, but I'm not a candy guy, but I mean, yeah, we did say this earlier is that you and I prefer a chocolate yeah. more so than a sweet. Okay. What do you think it's gonna taste oh, they're gonna taste like? Ah, uh, like gummy worms maybe. Okay. Or no, Welsh's. I think they it's gonna let me give this a little feel. I think it's gonna taste like Welsh's gummies because they're also made with fruit juice. Should I rip into it? Go for it. Chewy. <laughs> oh man. Did you did you think it was gonna be they're gonna be chewy? It does taste familiar. I can't put my finger on like mmm I'll have to look it up. But that do you know from South Africa? Or? From from the US that it tastes like. It's a it's like a harder chew. This isn't my thing in general. I wouldn't yeah, I would not if I Oh, I, I feel like I'm getting a cavity right now. <laughs> <laughs> I give it a one out of ten, but that's just a personal thing where I'm not this is Sweet, my, so not your thing. Yeah, I wouldn't do like sour patch kids, is it like is it mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay. okay. Put that aside for your sister. I think she'll. <laughs> okay. Last but not least, we have the Nestle Crisp Peppermints. Yes. Okay. Okay. For the holiday vibes, we have a mint cracknel. I don't know what a cracknel is, but mint cracknel coated milk chocolate confection. Um. Yeah, I think this is gonna be crispy, minty, chocolatey good. Uh, I'm excited for this. I think it's a good for a last um, candy bar, chocolate bar to try out, to kind of finish off mint. <laughs> it's like brushing my teeth. Okay. <laughs> Should I rip into it? Go for it. And this is also, uh, used as the base for a peppermint crisp tart. If you have had one, write down below in the comment section. Oh, a tart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's try it out here. I'll give you one. Oh, oh here, I'll give you this one. Thank you. <laughs> okay, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> Are you brushing your teeth? <laughs> hmm. Not so much as a wafer as like candy in this, like a sugar candy thing. Ooh. Whoa! I'm like That's acting like I've never tasted this before, but I haven't had one of these in so long. That yeah. Wow. Um. Not quite my thing. Um, really powerful flavoring. Yes. It's kind of like big flavor. Big flavor, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna give it a one out of 10. This definitely was different than I expected, which I give it props to is a different flavor chocolate bar. It was kind of like mixed with candy, with chocolate. And it's almost like the honeycomb that we had earlier, yeah. but mint. Yeah, it's like almost took, like if you had a filling, it would like take it Ooh. off when you bite. Yes. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yes. Feel me? Yes. Okay. Um, as kids, I know some people would uh, chew off the ends mm -hmm. and then put it in milk and then suck oh through. My God. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, and then it's like chocolatey milk, oh, and minty, yeah, yeah. <laughs> minty oh. flavor. Who was the winner in all the snacks? If you could name one. Big Corn Bite, definitely the winner um, in my book. I, yeah, I, it's, I definitely feel like I'm a chip guy. I feel like it could be, or a crisp guy. I feel like I could hang out and watch the boob tube and eat, you know, eat a bag of those and not even think about it and dip it in some salsa or something. Mm, definitely the Chomp Bar was my favorite uh, of one of the South African snacks. And I think the lowest on the rung was the last one, the peppermint, what was it? <laughs> peppermint the, crisp. The peppermint crisp.
wasn't on the run. That was a wild <laughs> sensation and that I don't care to repeat. But all in all, um, some good snacks here. I'm glad that you had a, a taste of some of the South African snacks. There are so many other snacks mm. that you are yet to try. You've also tried a, f a few already. Speckled eggs and biltong mm -hmm. being uh, one of some of your favorites. Yes. Um, but we will probably do a part two. If you have any suggestions of what Marcus should try in part two, please comment down below. And don't forget to like this video. Put a thumbs up, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. Um, if you want to watch a South African taste American snacks, click right up here. Other than that, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much, Marcus. Glad until, to be here. Until then, see you in the next one. Good night, God bless, goodbye.